Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a small day in the life video and I'm going to be doing some harvesting in the garden. So yeah, I just wanted to take you all along with me. So let's get started. Say hello to my grandbabies. Say hi, Summer. Summer. Say hi. Say hi. Tell everybody hi. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and slice open this fruit. I forgot I purchased this fruit from Aldi, you guys. And it's been in the refrigerator getting cold. How do you know if it's organic? Well, on this barcode here, if it's nine, it's organic. If it's three and it's four, it's not, okay? But it's starting to feel a little soft on this section here. So I don't want it to go bad. I'm going ahead and slice it open and I'm gonna get the seeds out. And this fruit is called, what is this fruit called? A golden hammy? Hmm. All I know is I looked it up and it was said to be sweet fruit. So I wanna try it. Cause if it's sweet, I may wanna grow it in the garden. It won't take much. Just take the seeds out, let them dry out in the sun, plant them bad boys, and we're good to go. And we're good to grow. Oh, it just sliced right over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like the it's like the cantaloupe. Alright guys, so now it's time for the taste test. It's, it looks really, really good. I'm just gonna go in here with a spoon. All right, so it looks like a cantaloupe type fruit. Ooh, that is really good. Wow, it's so, it's so sweet. Time to plant. All right guys, I wanna give you a cauliflower update. The cauliflower is burning. It's taking a hit. And you guys know how beautiful that cauliflower was looking. But it's burning. Some of them might make it. I might have one, two, three, four, five. Maybe five may make it or six with covering. But other than that, no. I do need to put some, maybe some lime in here. I'm gonna put some lime in the bed to make sure it's not a soil deficiency. Um, but from what I ha can have read, because these um, cauliflower, <laughs> this particular cauliflower was grown from seed. So, and this was my first time growing it from seed. So from what I've read, it could be a soil deficiency or it could be the heat. So um, I will be replanting them again for the fall. Um, because I can I understand they can even take a little frost um, as also the cabbage and the cabbage leaves they're they're burning a bit too so I'm gonna give them some shade um, some additional shade just so that they don't they don't burn um, because they're just doing too good guys they're doing too too good I started stringing up this teepee so I start running the string for it here, um, for the beans down here because they're starting to climb. They are ready to go and I'm really excited about it. The next thing I'm gonna do is go down here and harvest some of these green beans. And um, I'm sure there's some other things that I need to do, but we'll catch up on it in just a minute. show you all my 
bean harvest for the day. The last beans that I see that I need to harvest are these Kentucky um, wonder beans. They were supposed to be bush beans, but I got some pole beans in here in the mix. But they are ready also, and I am sweating. Y'all can see my face is all shiny. I'm looking like I'm greased up, and I am hot. It's getting dusk out here. These mosquitoes are cutting up. So let me get these um, harvested, and I'll show you what I'm working with. All right, so these are the Kentucky Wonder beans, and they're like a more of a flat, flatter bean. Um, but yeah, there are some that are, whoa, oh, I almost fell. There are some that are, um, that look like they were ready on here. They are, see, right there. Um, so I'll pull these off. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this harvest. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at this harvest, it's huge. So I ended up having some Blue Lake 274 bush beans and pole beans ready as well. Um, so I went on and harvested those as well. All right, you guys, I got tomatoes that are ready as well. So I will definitely be adding the tomatoes to my harvest today because some of them are falling on the ground. So another garden discovery, you guys, I have okra ready. I knew I seen okra blooms the other morning, they were open, but I had no idea. I had no idea that the okra was ready so soon. Look at that. All the way down, all the way down the row, all the way down. You guys see that? Let's get it in. So here we have it, the harvest of tomato and okra. This is the Roma tomato and some of the San Manzano tomatoes, I believe. Um, I harvested some of them that weren't completely ripe yet because I'm gonna let them um, ripen inside. And yeah, I don't want to lose them. When they get ripe, they'll fall on the ground. And here we have the red burgundy bush beans, and then we have the blue lake 274 and um, bush beans. And it was supposed to be some Kentucky Wonder beans, bush beans in here, but I believe that was some pole beans that snuck in there and some asparagus beans as well. So there you have it. My beautiful harvest for the day. It's coming in, it's starting to come in guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.